Hello and welcome to another edition of Don't Know, Ask Father Tuzo. Today a question, it's been asked a lot, um, and it concerns angels. Who or what are angels, and what are the different types of angels? Well, first, let us look at angels in general. According to the Catechism, they are non-corporal beings. They don't have bodies, not made of any matter. They are pure spirit. And we've been told in sacred scripture they are called angels and that they are a truth of our faith. They are defined as pure spirits, personal beings with intelligence and free will, and they are immortal. As the Bible states, they sometimes appear as apparitions in human form. Okay, well, what about the different types of angels? Well, since the early church, the types of angels that are identified in the Bible, and they have been elaborated upon, by theologians throughout the centuries. So we refer to them as choirs of angels. And there are nine different choirs or ranks of angels. So I'm gonna list them from the highest down. Now the first are the seraphim. These are the angels closest to God. They reflect on the most immediate and highest attributes of God, his love. They are said to be on fire with his love. And they have the most perfect knowledge of making them the perfect adorers of God. Next, we have the cherubim, and the name means all-knowing one, and they have a deep intellectual knowledge of the divine secrets. They are constantly contemplating on the wisdom of God. Now the next, the group is called thrones. Now their name depicts them as being raised up to form the seat of God's authority and mercy throne manifests glory and authority, stability and power. This rank is also concerned with divine judgment and ordinances. Next, dominions. This rank is concerned with the government of the universe. These angels are charged with great and universal stewardship. They are involved in the workings of divine power. They coordinate all angels who deal with creation. Next, we have the virtues. These angels exercise power over the physical universe, and they ensure the well-being of the world. Next, we have a group called the powers. They are angels who are thought to introduce man to higher mysteries. They also repress attacks of hostile powers. Now, hostile powers are those angels who turned away from God and joined Satan. So the powers confront and fight against any evil forces opposed to God's providential plan. Next we have principalities. They were referred to as godlike princeliness, princely powers. They are the guardians of whole nations or peoples. Next we have archangels. Now they are probably the most well known and loved in popular devotion. There are seven total of these archangels. They deliver God's most important messages. In the Bible, we have three of them named. St. Michael, who is known as the Prince of the Heavenly Host. We have St. Gabriel, who delivered the message of the Incarnation. And we have St. Raphael, the Angel of Healing and the Medicine. These seven have a special place in God's plan. The number seven, covering the seven days of creation, seven days of the week, seven sacraments. They are known to be outstanding in their fidelity to God, known for leadership and authority. The last group, just angels. And this group is most involved with us human beings. They are sent on missions from God. Also, our guardian angels come from this group. They are of the lowest order, but they are the ones whom God chooses to place nearest to us, to watch over us and care for us. So that's the list of the nine choirs of angels. And to those of you who have watched It's a Wonderful Life, when you hear Zuzu say, every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Well, sorry to burst your bubble, but doesn't work like that. 
Angels were all created by God before the world and man were ever created. And also, when we die, we do not become angels. Thanks again for the question. Keep them coming, and please stay safe.